advocate for my wins. I need my hands. This life is real. If they pretend, they must have been. I get it in. I get it in. I get it in. Boy! I get it in. What do you think, Jacob? Should, should I buy it? This life is real. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. I never get this excited about packages. Come on. Oh, oh yeah. Do you guys see this right here? Do you see that? What does that say? Should I, should I get it out? Oh, I didn't realize they were gonna send me one, two, Three, four of my new scooters. So before I did YouTube, uh, I was a professional scooter rider. And ever since I was 12 years old, I've rode for a scooter company called Lucky. I even have their logo tattooed on me. See that right there. So growing up in action sports, getting a signature part is like the biggest deal in the entire world. <laughs> I'm trying to do it smooth. If you're a skateboarder, you get a signature deck. If you're a professional BMX rider, you get a signature bike. And if you're a scooter rider, you get a signature scooter. If 14 year old Tanner was still here, he'd probably be his pants because I have been more than blessed to be on my fourth signature scooter with Lucky. I want to show you guys a little bit of the history. So this is my first one scooter right here. You guys can see this is a pro scooter that you guys can actually buy. This is my second one. I've turned it into an art piece in my house. And this is my third and most recent scooter. I really am at a loss for words right now. I'm so grateful for this. Uh, I don't I don't even want to think too hard about what I should say. This means the absolute world to me. The amount of years and hours and days and blood and sweat and tears I've put into being a better scooter rider because I purely loved it. I never saw it becoming a job or let alone really anything. I did it for the pure love of doing it and to become one of the biggest names in scootering truly leaves me speechless. I'm gonna shut up and let's unbox my new scooter. Okay, wow, this is my first time reacting to this scooter. Uh, I have not seen this in person, this is the first time. Holy cow, these are the coolest wheels we have ever released. I'm gonna have to run these like on my other setup as well. Wow, just the whole color scheme of this scooter was inspired. I don't know if you guys have seen our Polaroid line. We did a complete T-Fox Polaroid line, which was this design. It was one of our most popular designs and it was by far one of the cleanest. And wow, just looking at this scooter, I've never been so excited to see something in my life. One of my favorite parts is on the grip tape. It has the little T-Fox logo right there. It's got the little Polaroid stripes. If you see the foot placement, when you're looking down at the scooter, the whole scheme of the grip tape is beautiful. Now I gotta show you how to put it together. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. She's officially complete. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell me this ain't sick. Tell me you don't want to start scootering now. Tell me you don't want the best scooter hey, money can buy. I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the bunch and hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a
I just drove six hours to Arizona because my scooters are gonna be available this week on tfoxbrand.com, luckyscooters.com, as well as most, if not all, scooter stores. But I gotta test these things out first. Rob, look who's back. You came to Sesh, bro. Is it, cool if I, uh, is it cool if I test out the new scooter? Absolutely. All right, baby. So I wanted to have a good skate park to test the new scooter at, and we got the whole entire skate park to ourselves. I thought, what better place than a skate park that has my logo on the wall? Yes, sir. So these scooters are gonna be out in about one week to two weeks. They're gonna be available on luckyscooters.com, tfoxbrand.com, as well as every, if not most, scooter stores. So dropping very soon. I'm literally the first person to have a scooter, but let's test it out. What'd you do that on? A new T Fox, you feel me? Homie said, can I get you on the snap real quick? Homie pulls up Facebook and he goes, how do you get to the stories? I said, you're using Facebook stories? Facebook is booming in 2020. <laughs> I never heard of nobody <laughs> using Facebook stories. Hey, well, I'm the first. Facebook stories, what's good? Oh, sh These, master. Uh -huh. Jacob, you're one of the best scooter riders I know. I need you to test this. All right, we'll see if it's up to par. Grip tape, it's up to par, boys. The grips, everything, keep it around. So you'd say it checks out? It checks out. The only issue, it might be like 110 out of 100, you know, a little bit better. So the issue with it is that it's too good? It's too good. Oh, Man, I, I gotta too, go back I to the got factory. Too much speed. Clayton, could, could you test this out? I need your opinion. I got you, bro. Thank you. Oh my lord, that's a cool looking scooter. Where do you think he got it? Tfoxbrand.com. Did it work? No, it was terrible. <laughs> Cut. So you can see the different shades of color right here. That's for all the new shades of tricks that you'll be learning. We got a globe right here because uh, this thing is sold in every single country. Cal, because Tanner went to uh, Cal Berkeley. That's where he graduated. We got T Fox right here. And you might think that stands for Tanner Fox. No. No, no it doesn't. I'm, I got it. I gotta go. <laughs> All right, sir. All right. We're gonna need one more test. I'm okay. just not sure. I gotta are see. You, are you sure about this? Because I might do a little bit of damage. I don't think you're gonna do any damage. It's a T Fox scoop. You're right. Get in there, bro. Get in the game. Full on Elon Musk style. We're going to Mars right now. Today is the day, okay? Oh! Oh my, dude, you're flying. Oh my lord. It sounds like she held up. Hey, she's a strong baby. You Thank you, it. sir. Yes, sir. No problem. Give me your back. All right. I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. Here, man. No. Take it. I, I genuinely it's the first week of fall, and it's still about 110 degrees in Arizona. This is the only appropriate thing. Show us how it's done. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. I didn't do it right. Cool car, man. Was a Ferrari? Maybe this one Ferrari. Maybe a BMW. I don't know. Hmm. I'm here to tell you about our Lord and Savior T Fox brand. What's up? <laughs> That was nice. <laughs> Ricky, yeah. three best stocks to invest in, go. All right, um, well, as of right now, I'm only invested in two stocks. That's our Apple and Tesla, so. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Tan, I know you've been looking for a car. I want to show you something. Okay. And you guys let, let us know if he should get this. It matches your hat almost just a little bit. So, this? So it's uh, blue carbon, the diffuser, everything. It's about, if I'm not mistaken, I have to relook at the sticker, but it was an additional $80,000 for oh, wow. a carbon package. 488? This is the first Ferrari of the car shopping series, I guess. Okay, well, you know, you got to take me for a ride in it. I'm very thankful you asked, get in. Didn't you just buy this? Yeah, two, uh, yesterday, two days ago. You bought this two days ago? Yeah. Well, so why, is there something wrong with it? Like why you want to sell it to me? You're just, you already sold it. Tanner, I thought you were looking for a car. I mean, anything's for sell for the right price, right? True. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys, you guys can tell, this is blue carbon. That's really cool. It's like a navy blue interior or? Yeah. Oh wow. All right, so we're now in Mexico. Just quick trip to Mexico, of course, every time. Always be safe. Oh yeah. This could be like the La Ferrari's like little brother precursor. I don't know. Just getting you warmed up. Get, get me warmed up for the La. <laughs> Ferraris never get old. Hey, how's it going? Good, bro. Hey, your keys are in your door. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> oh, Lord. Car shopping episode. I think we're on three or four. What do you guys think about Ferraris? I think they're the most fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Nothing to see here. Just some Mexican police, that's all. That boy hot! God, these things are fucking fast. Well, the 488 ride went well. I've had a pretty good amount of experience with the 488s. I love Ferraris. I like totally my favorite brand of car. I just don't know how good they are for content. So that's why I like doing these car shopping videos to kind of give you guys a better idea what, what's the best for the videos. Parking it out front. He's keeping it out front. What do you think, Jacob? Sh should I buy it? Definitely an option. Definitely a good option. Twin Color. turbo R8 or this? Twin turbo 488. It, it already is twin turbo. Um, bigger turbos, I guess. <laughs> four turbos. <laughs> yeah. We'll add four turbos to this. All right, Rick, well, uh, I'll speak it over with my, my team here <laughs> and we'll let you know if we're interested. All right, so Quick replacement of the, what is it? Fuse. The fuse. Quick replacement of the fuse. We're praying this works. I have not started this bike in probably eight months. <laughs> oh. Does it have gas in it? Should we check? Yeah. yeah. The battery's already dead. No. Mm -hmm. So the battery already died. We have to hook it up to this. Moment of truth. It's your predicament, man. I mean, you know more than I do. It's not getting fuel to it enough, at least. Should we Google more? No, we don't need to Google. We need to keep doing mechanic stuff. True. That's what I would have done. We got her all hooked up. Don't worry, I didn't pull a Maverick. Red to red, black to black. Now we just gotta wait for the bike to charge. I hope this works. In the meantime, I got Chipotle. I finished my Chipotle, so let's try this again. <laughs> so much fun. Wow, it's the next day, it's 1 p.m. I'm sorry to tell you guys, but no bike riding today. I actually have to end up taking it to a bike shop. They're gonna have to fix it. We literally replaced the fuel. We tried starter fluid in the intake. We tried to put a different battery on. We tried to jump start it with the car, didn't work. We've tried like a thousand things and it's just not working. I really wanted this video to have me riding the bike in it, but I just don't think that's gonna happen today. So I'm sorry guys, next episode, next vlog. I feel like I've been in this situation too many times. So we have a shop local here in Temecula, it's called Rebel. Uh, they're picking the bike up. They're gonna try to fix it today. All right. Well, he got that easy. Stop. Okay, and then the first one. <laughs> I'm a tow truck driver now. Oh, <laughs> this is sketch. Thank you, sir, I appreciate I'll, it. I'll call that number when I'm done. Got it, thank you. I don't know how we keep ending up in these situations where my stuff gets put on the tow truck. Like, it happens too often, it seems like, at this point. The drift car's in the shop. The GTR's back in the shop. By the way, we're getting great updates on that. I try to drive my bike because I'm so low on stuff. And then this happens.
going up in value because of where it's located. Mm, yeah. It's like, and there's no grass. So you don't have to have a lawn guy. You don't have to pay for water. There's nothing to water. Real estate kids, make sure you invest.